Lancashire seal promotion to Division 1 with innings victory over Derbyshire. What a day it was for Josh Bohannon on the second day of this match. He played beautifully to bring up a maiden century, finishing the day unbeaten on 150. Liam Livingston had also batted well. His own score of 70 crucial to Lancashire's position of strength at 269 for 2, leading Derbyshire by 25. And when they did resume, Livingston would depart early, only able to add one run to his overnight total when he was caught behind off Rampall. Maxwell would be bowled off the next ball for a duck to give Rampall 2-2. Two two. But Bahannon and Rob Jones stemmed the flow of wickets and helped Lancashire towards 300. With 174 runs to his name, Bahannon's knock was finally brought to an end, edging a drive off Hudson Prentice to Madsen at first slip. Captain Dane Villas would see Lancashire to 300, he and Jones establishing a stubborn partnership. The skipper picked up his thousandth run of the season in the process, he'd pick up a 50 before lunch, but wouldn't bat out the session. Looking to steer one down to third man, he'd be caught behind for 51, lunch signalled with the fall of his wicket. Despite the wicket late in the session, Lancashire picked up where they left off. Bailey now alongside Jones, the pair continuing to find the boundary as the score reached 400. A tidy bit of fielding from Anand Dahl had Bailey run out for 26. Dahl would follow that up with the wicket of Jones, bowled for 37. There was a sense that the, in there was a sense that the innings was coming to an end. Parkinson trapped LBW by Critchley to leave Lancashire with one wicket remaining. That was picked up by Dahl, Mahmood trapped LBW for 7, the home side all out for 418 with a lead of 174 runs. Derbyshire would get their second inning started in the remaining overs before tea, and that would be to their detriment as Lancashire picked up quick, early wickets. Reese was the first man to go, trapped LBW by Bailey for 6. First innings hero Billy Godelman followed. Bailey also trapping him LBW for 10. Madsen and Deploy would halt the Lancashire progress long enough to see their side through to the interval at 49 for 2. But when they returned to the middle, Bailey returned to the attack and quickly had a third. Madsen caught at second slip. Maxwell struck. Deploy the next man to edge to Livingston in the slips. Harvey Hussain helped Derbyshire regroup, striking up a partnership with Hughes to take Derbyshire into three figures. Maxwell would bring their 40-run partnership to an end. Hussain bowled for 12. Critchley had Parkinson pinned LBW for one, returning the favour to the Derbyshire bowler. Maxwell then had a third. A fantastic catch from Gleeson at backwards square leg, seeing the end of Alex Hughes for 33. Hudson Prentice was on the wrong end of a good Davis throw, run out for 12. Dahl would fall, stumped by Villas off the bowling of Parkinson. Derbyshire now just one wicket away from defeat. Lancashire one good ball from promotion. And it would be a fitting end to the game. Parkinson the man to pick up the wicket as the rain began to fall in Manchester. Ram Paul skying a catch to Villas behind the stumps. That would be the wicket that sealed Lancashire's promotion to Division 1. They'll also seal the Division 2 title if they're victorious over Middlesex next week. Not many could argue against them being deserved champions should that be the case. Derbyshire have silverware of their own to play for. Finals day at Esbaston beckons later this month. They'll be disappointed with their batting return on day three. With the talent they have in their ranks, they'd have at least hoped to force their hosts to bat again.